Our goal in this video is to create a dice shape. But first, a little background information. So in Tinkercad, we group shapes to combine them. And in many other CAD programs, this would be called a Boolean operation, which is a mathematical term. We can combine these two shapes in a couple different ways. So adding two shapes together and grouping them is a union. In this example, my sphere is a whole. If I group them together, that's called the subtraction. I'm subtracting the sphere from the box. And there's one more type of Boolean operation called an intersection. It's a calculation of the space that both shapes take up. Unfortunately, there isn't an easy button to push in Tinkercad to take us from the original shapes to the intersected shape. So we need to do it in a few steps. Let me show you how. So for reference, on the menus here, we can go to symbols and we have a dice shape that's listed. This is the shape that we'll try to replicate from scratch. Let's go back to the basic shapes, pull in a box, and I will scale this down while holding down the shift key to 16 millimeters. Then bring in a sphere. I'll hold on the shift key and uniformly scale that up to 22 millimeters. Then I'll select both objects, use the align tool, and align them on the center of all three axes. You can click to exit align mode. I'll click on the sphere, change it to a hole. Then I'll click on the box, hold down the alt or option key, and drag a second copy off to the side. I'll select my box and sphere shape and group them. Then I'm going to convert this complex shape to a hole. Select my box and the box that's now a hole that has a hole in it. Align them on the center of all three axes. Select both objects and group them. Let's use D to drop that to the work plane and drag it over to meet the other one. We can hit F to focus, and you can see that we have an identical dice shape. So making intersections in Tinkercad requires you to think a little outside the box, but it's a really great way to start thinking about how to create complex shapes.